Gary Gomez rides four on the uh, all four stakes races on the Bluegrass Day card. And uh, when you're preparing for a day like that, and maybe you haven't ridden those particular horses uh, much, if at all, what's the preparation like? Not much really. I mean, I, you know, you, you really just kind of dissect your own horse. Um, really try to see where he's comfortable, where, where some places not to put him, uh, where, where would, you know, you know, the most beneficial spots you can put a horse, and you try to do that. And, um, you know, and then as the closer to the race I get, the more I look into the race. Uh, but the main idea is just to try to see how I can get to get along with my horse the best and get him to do, do his best running for me. Uh, do you watch a lot of his tapes, if you haven't ridden a horse, watch tapes no, of his know previous why? races? You know why? Because, um, you know, when I, when I first started riding, we didn't have all these tapes and uh, not to say that I'm super old or anything, but you know, I mean, uh, now we have all the replays and stuff in the jock room. And, uh, you know, I'm just, you know, if I want to really dig into a horse and, and, and try to figure out something that's uh, real, real critical in, in, in my preparation for the horse, then then I'll kind of dig in. But I, you know, I mean, I grew up and I and I've always rode my career with not having those, and I always feel like uh, you know that I can improve on whatever any way the horse has been running, and, and I have that positive attitude. And, um, you know, I just I go by by the form and, and what else we used to have, and, and that's why I go by. Let's talk about your horse in the Toyota Bluegrass Midnight Crooner. Uh, talk to me about uh, how you would like to see the race ideally unfold for him. Well, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, it, it all depends on what Bob wants to do with him. I mean, it, you know, I mean, the synthetic racetrack uh, calls for a different race setup a lot of times, and uh, you know, trainers and owners have a different idea in mind. And, you know, horses handle it different. So, you know, it's all according to, to what Bob wants to kind of do with him and uh, the way the race is going to set up. What do you do in terms of a training uh, workout regimen, anything like that, to, to do this? Are you blessed to not have to worry about that? Well, I mean, I used to I used to not do a whole lot because, you know, growing up and, and, and you, you ride five, six, seven days a week and, you know, there's not much to really go ahead and keep on working out. Uh, some of these younger guys nowadays are, are working out a little bit more and, and doing little things a little different. Uh, I broke my heel in January, so you know I go to therapy a lot. I do a lot of weight work. I do a lot of a lot of stuff on my foot and um, you know on my legs, and, and try to keep them, try to get them completely balanced back out like they used to be. And you know, it's kind of gave me a little different outlook on stuff. And, uh, but most of the time, I do a lot of golf playing. I play a lot of golf. I do a, you know a lot of walking with the caddies and. Uh, I enjoy my golf. What's your handicap? Uh, well, right now I moved back up to a seven, but that's because I got hurt and, <laughs> and uh, you know I, I hadn't been playing very well since I came back. But you know I'll get it back down to about a three or four. And, Favorite course you've uh, played? A uh, place called Manhattan Woods. Where's that? It's up in uh, just about 20 miles north of the city of, of New York City, and um, it's one of the most neat golf courses you've ever seen. All nestled in the trees, and uh, you know you're up from the clubhouse you look down at the city. Uh, are you uh, feel like you're back to 100 percent from the injury? I, you know, I, I, every day I get better and better and better. Um, you know, I, I, I consider myself when I go out there to give 110%. And, you know, I feel like I'm at that, that stage where I'm giving 110%. And, you know, I'm well balanced. You know, I, I still have some pain, so I can't say I'm 100% until the pain's completely gone. Um, but I feel like, you know, my riding, my athletic ability, and the way I'm riding, I'm at 100%.